not all the way out, Casey. You are just. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. <sighs> I know, huh? Mm -hmm. ah! You need to. Why well, can't wait for the sun when them sundresses gonna come on out? Living all the way in the west by the Georgia peace, made me feel down south. See you in the streets, believe I'ma go ahead and reach on out. Cause I done peeped you on the ground, goddamn, you just made another fan, yeah. Used to curving plenty niggas, if I want to call you, baby, I ain't nervous. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Let's just hop right into this. So I'm gonna be looking a little bit crazy. But if you're new here, go ahead and follow me on social media, on my Instagram, and subscribe. Yeah, this is the situation that we're dealing with. We look a little bit like Kodak Black, but that's okay. We're gonna fix that. We're gonna fix that. So let's just hop right into this. Ucha asking ye shall receive we have been delivered from that treachery that was on the last clip but I'm just gonna show you guys how I stretched my hair first so I'm gonna show you guys how I did my blow drying process and I'm just gonna clip this hair out the way before I take my Kukui hydration cream from the lovely Earthborn Organics it's very moisturizing so I just want to put this in my hair to make sure my hair has some moisture before I go into this protective style um, I'm actually prepping my hair for a protective style, but that video is already up, so I will have it in the cards. Here, I'm just going to be using a wide tooth comb to go ahead and detangle this section. I'm using the Pantene Gold Series Heat Primer, and I believe this has protection up to 450 degrees, so you know I had to make sure the hair was nice and coated to make sure that I did not have any heat damage after this. And then I'm going to go in with my blow dryer using the tension method and blow drying on both sides before I go in with my brush to really get it nice and smooth. this rat tail comb just to go ahead and make sure that the hair is thoroughly detangled I'm pretty sure some of you guys call this a fine tooth comb which same thing so that's just what I'm using to make sure that hair is thoroughly detangled and make sure you have some actual hair shears do not use regular cutting scissors or you will get more split ends when you use them to cut but I'm just going to be smoothing the hair out so I can see the line, not line of demarcation, but I guess you could call it that, just to see where the hair starts to thin and is damaged, and that's where I'm going to trim. So you guys should see like a little dotted line that shows you guys where the thinning is, or you can just see that it's darker close to my fingers and kind of thin and sparse at the ends. And then I'm just going to cut that off and move on to the next section. Before moving on, I do go ahead and use the comb to run through that section one more time to make sure there's no more snagging and to know that I got all the single strand knots and damaged ends before twisting this section and putting it off to the side. Ryan Little. <laughs> That 
that's all I have for you guys for this video. Hopefully it was informative for you guys and this will help you guys successfully trim your own hair. Thank you guys for coming and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe and I will see you all in the next video.